Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square uh, A, B, C, D and the circle uh, with the center O put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these points uh, E, F, G and uh, H are the midpoints uh, for the sides of this uh, blue square. And as a result, we get these uh, two lines, this uh, perpendicular line uh, EG and this uh, horizontal line uh, HF and they intersect each other at this point P. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, ET length uh, is uh, three units, whereas uh, this segment uh, LF length is four units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus once again on this uh, blue square uh, ABCD. And we know these points E, F, uh, G and H are the midpoints for the sides of uh, this blue square. So therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, AE equal to this segment uh, EB and likewise uh, this segment uh, DG equals to this segment uh, GC and likewise uh, this segment uh, AH equal to this segment uh, HD and likewise this segment uh, BF equals to this segment uh, FC. So therefore if I label this segment uh, X then this segment is going to be X likewise this segment is going to be X X X X X and X across the board. So therefore this whole side length of this blue square is going to be X plus X is going to give us 2 times X. So therefore uh, this side length is going to be 2x, this side length is going to be 2x and finally this side is going to be 2x uh, as well. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue square ABCD and now let's recall the area of a square formula, area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this uh, blue square is 2x. So therefore, uh, this blue square ABCD area is going to be our side length is 2x whole square. And if we simplify, that is going to give us 4 times uh, x square. So the blue square area is going to be 4 times x square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x square. And now let's make an observation. We can see these are uh, our horizontal and uh, vertical lines. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be our uh, 90 degrees angle. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius bisects the chord. So therefore we can see that this perpendicular uh, HP is going to bisect uh, this uh, chord uh, TK into two equal parts. So therefore uh, this segment uh, TP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PK. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, segment uh, EP length uh, is uh, X and this uh, tiny segment uh, ET length uh, is 3. So therefore uh, this segment uh, TP length uh, is going to be x uh, minus 3. So I can write this one as uh, x minus 3. And if this segment uh, is uh, x minus 3 then this uh, segment uh, PK is going to be x minus 3 as well. And furthermore we can see that this segment uh, PF length uh, is uh, same as this uh, EB length which is X so therefore uh, this segment length is going to be X and we know this segment uh, LF length uh, is 4 so therefore uh, this tiny segment uh, 
PL length is going to be x minus 4. So therefore this tiny segment PL length is x minus 4. And finally this segment uh, HP length is going to be equal to this uh, segment AE length which is X. So therefore this has got to be X as well. So thus our uh, this segment uh, HP length is uh, X. And now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. According to this theorem if two chords intersect uh, in a circle then the products of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see we got these two chords A, C and B, D that they intersect each other at this point and as a result we are ended up with these segments lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c and finally lowercase d respectively such that uh, A times B must be equal to C times D. And now we are going to apply this intersecting chords theorem on this given problem. And here we can see we got these two chords uh, H, L and this uh, chord uh, T, K. And they intersect each other at this point P. And as a result we are ended up with these uh, segments uh, X, this segment uh, x minus 4 and likewise uh, this segment uh, x minus 3 and this segment uh, x minus 3 as well. Let's go ahead and apply the intersecting chords uh, theorem. So we are going to have uh, x uh, minus 3 times uh, x uh, minus 3 is going to be equal to x uh, times uh, x uh, minus 4. And here we are going to perform the double uh, distribution to multiply these factors. And likewise we are going to distribute x uh, over here as well. So therefore we can write uh, x square minus uh, 3x uh, minus 3 once again x plus uh, 9 is going to be equal to x square minus 4 times x. And here we can see x square and x square they are gone. Let's combine the like terms. We are going to get uh, negative 6x plus uh, 9 is going to be equal to negative 4x. And now we are going to add 6x uh, on both uh, sides. And here we can see negative 6x and positive 6x they are gone. And on the right hand side negative 4x plus 6x is going to give us simply 2x. So therefore we conclude that our 2x value is going to be equal to 9. And now I am going to square both sides left and right. So therefore we can see on the left hand side we got 4x square equals to 81. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. And now let's recall our blue square uh, area equals to 4 times x square. And we already figured out 4 times x square value is uh, 81. So therefore we are going to replace 4x square with uh, 81 over here. So therefore our blue square area is going to be equal to 81 uh, square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our blue square ABCD area turns out to be 81 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.